Well, hello there, guys. This is Charles. This is gonna be uh, part six of Becky's uh, cargo trailer camper conversion. So, yesterday we did a lot of work. It's been a while since I did the post my last video, but the last video was indicating that we did the, the wood flooring. Um, turned out really nice. Uh, sorry for the mess, guys, but we just completed uh, the cabinets uh, in the shower yesterday. So, I'll make this short here, so I'll walk in here. So this is a seven by 14 cargo trailer. Everything in here is all insulated. Um, and I, excuse me, farther for the mess here, but we're still cleaning up. So yesterday we just installed some, uh, some kitchen cabinet, a regular cabinet and a shower. So this shower is actually a 32 by 32. Um, and then this is the kitchen cabinet. We're still uh, working on it. And this is gonna be the top and we're gonna uh, make it nice and, um, epoxy or a coating on this with a hole and all that so this is almost done and you know nice in here sorry for the mess again but puts our water and all that in there so it's a pretty nice little cabinet picked that up for uh, 50 bucks and then we just customized a little bit uh, we're going to sand it down and paint it all gray uh, to kind of look good with the flooring and so forth uh, the shower is what I'm really impressed with I you know honestly guys it took me a while uh, sorry for the sound there. It took me a while um, trying to figure out really what's a good size for the shower on this. Uh, if I go too small, <clears throat> then I'll probably have to take a shower sideways. And I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I just need something. So actually this worked out really well. So I picked this up at Home Depot. It's a 32 by 32 shower. We did a little bit of trimming on it, um, but it fits in there really good. Drill the hole right in the middle there. So my drainage will go right there. And then in this shower, and I'm gonna put a uh, holes here to where I can put my my faucet and so forth. And um, and the reason being is because I left this space up just a little bit because if my front of my trailer curves, it's not a V nose. Um, if it was a V nose, I would do a little bit differently. But since the, my trailer in the front curves, um, so I had to work some magic on this here. So what I did was instead of pushing it all against the wall, I left a little space here. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to put a top on here, but, but below there is going to be for my water tank. So I can put a 30 gallon water tank. It's already been sized and all that's going to fit perfectly. And then on the back of this, I'm going to put a, uh, the tank, uh, for hot water, hot and cold water, I'll probably put it right here so I can just turn the dial and, um, so that's it. And then the rest of it, I can probably put for storage and so forth, but I'll have the pipe going up and right into the shower and it's going to be amazing. And I'm going to have another pipe that's going to go along the side and to the, uh, to the sink if I want to. So a couple things I want to do with it, but, um, but anyways, I think the shower turned out really nice. So again, we're still not done it. Uh, we're just going to paint it, seal it all up today, make sure it's all waterproofed and all that. Um, I'm going to put a fan in here as well. I'm going to put it on this side. So I'm going to leave this fan here. I'll probably put a vent here or a fan, put it in there. And then, of course, my AC on the back of the trailer there. So on to the next thing, this cabinet. So <laughs> I actually got this up at a garage sale. Um, and the owner said, oh, you just get it for free. So he just gave it to me. And it was pretty cool because it's actually a cabinet which worked out really well. Um, it has little doors here. What we did was we took the, the shelving out and took all that out, took all the shelving out, took the top out, and we had to customize the top to go around the curve around the trailer. So we're gonna, you know, seal it all up, make it nice and pretty, put a cover, nice cover uh, that was gonna match the sink here. And then down below, this is where gonna be all my electrical stuff here. So I'm gonna put my inverter, my panel, so all next weekend we'll be working on that. So today is to be basically clean up, um, do a little bit of touching up on this. I'll put a little latches here so it won't come up. A little maybe magnet uh, latches so they won't, you know, don't go like this all the time when you're driving, you know. So um, other than that, guys, it's coming out pretty nice. Um, this is my is for my nonprofit organization. We're gonna be going out feeding the homeless and stuff like that. A little bit of traveling, so it's, I'm really excited about it. As uh, far as the kitchen, my idea on this is put cabinet, uh, a little cabinet here, a little small one, and then put a small one, so like maybe two or three of them down there. And then of course the bed um, and so forth. So I'm really excited about this, guys. Uh, you know, it's coming along. This is my first project, so 
Um, it's gonna turn out really nice. I, I don't know. So, anyways, uh, that's it, guys. So again, this is Charles, uh, part six of Becky's cargo trailer camper conversion. All right, guys, have an awesome day.